Oh, hi guys. <laughs> uh, sorry I was late. Welcome to my pretend cooking show. I am Dina Mitchell. You're in my kitchen. Prego. So today we are making mama's tomato sauce. This is not your average tomato sauce. This isn't one that you would buy in a bottle and it already has oregano and all kinds of flavors in and there's hundreds to choose from. This is your basic tomato sauce that from this you can make many dishes. This happens to be one of the favorite things that I've learned from Chef Fabio in Rome on my Zoom cooking classes that I've taken almost every day since uh, this all started. So a couple of the ingredients that we're gonna need for Mama's tomato sauce are one large carrot, one large celery, one small white onion, and you have a couple different choices for tomatoes. Um, I look for ones that are on the vine and always organic. So these are some great cherry tomatoes that I actually found at Vons. Uh, you know, for a while I couldn't even find good cherry, organic cherry tomatoes at Whole Foods, but Vons has been kind of coming through a tiny bit cheaper. Uh, you can also use Roma tomatoes. These are some good ones too, the Campari as long as they're organic. And I look for the ones that are on the vine so they're just really soaking up all the juices. Uh, you'll additionally need fresh basil. You don't have to have a nice little plant like I do. You can just get some uh, at Whole Foods or wherever. You're only gonna need about 10 leaves per container. Uh, garlic, salt, and olive oil. All of this is going to make one jar of Mama's tomato sauce. Now when I make it, I usually make three jars. But so all of this is simple ingredients, but it all comes down to how you prepare it. So let's kind of get into that. Your large carrot. Now, if you don't have a large carrot, you have two small ones, be logical. Two small ones make a large one. Same with your celery, onion, all that kind of stuff. So pretty simple on the carrot. You're just going to, obviously, you rinsed it off with uh, purified water. Anytime I rinse off fruit and vegetables, I'm using purified water, not regular water. I went through the trouble, trouble of buying organic vegetables, so. And I save all my scraps in these great little bags that I can freeze or put in the refrigerator in order to make my stock later. Your celery. Now, celery has these little fibers that we are going to de-thread. And you have a couple different ways. You can start it just with like a simple peeler and you're gonna get a lot of them. But one way to really check, and I'm really gonna show you the difference on this, and what I've noticed is some people that say they don't like celery, it's actually they just don't like these fibers. And what I mean by that is if you crack it, you see these little things. So by removing this in this sauce, it's going to make it really creamy, great consistency, and what I'm doing now, I'm just making sure I got all of them, which I didn't. And you can kind of do that this way too, just by cracking it and can remove a lot of them, most of them. Um, yeah, there's still some in there. So if you're just now joining us, we are making Mama's tomato sauce, uh, Chef Fabio in Rome. This is his mother's sauce, so he grew up on it. And I absolutely love this sauce. The first time I made it, I wanted to drink it. It's so similar to tomato juice. Mm, it's just so, so, so good. Uh, and this is a great base to just about anything. I mean, can you put this on spaghetti? Absolutely, but it, it would need more flavors most likely. Some oregano, um, some parsley, whatever kind of flavors, maybe some red chili flakes. This, but this really is a base that you can do just about anything with. And that's what I like it. That's what I like about it. Your carrot, pretty easy. You're just gonna like cut up into little rounds. Now this is all gonna just sit on the stove and cook down so it doesn't necessarily matter, but it makes it cook down a lot easier when it's in rounds. I know you're all thinking that like, what if I cut myself right now? Why do we think those things? Don't think those things, evil, evil. Save my ends. The song seems to always come on when I'm playing. So same with your onion. It doesn't necessarily matter, but I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit. Save my ends for stock. So 
so some, some people really have a problem with watery eyes when you're cutting onions. Real simple, to run it through cold water. Uh, not a problem. You may if I can skip this. I'm use this for stock anyhow. So um, the reason why I wanted to make this tomato sauce is because we're going to use it tomorrow in chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Same thing. Different color. Uh, you could use it in chicken parmesan. In fact, you, I've used it in my tamalo, any kind of big pasta. I've used it in so much and I love having it on hand. Initially, I just my friend just kept asking me for jars and uh, so anyhow, I keep them all on hand. So this one's pretty easy. And we're just putting this all in the pot. Save the end. And I'll just make this easy. So, um, really why I wanted to show you the sauce is you, I really, really think you're gonna have a hard time buying tomato sauce in the store anymore. I know there's a huge aisle. There's two aisles in the supermarket that I don't understand, and that is a huge variety of salad dressings and tomato sauce when they're so easy to make without all the preservatives, 100% organic. Your garlic, I'm just gonna give it like a quick tap on the biggest part of the knife, just to tap or two, just to kind of crack the outside, get that shell off, save the scraps, and just a quick slice, throwing it in there, and your basil, and scissors. Um, thank you. Thank you. I, I gave this guy a little bath just so you know. He's already rinsed off. Uh, three, so you're gonna put 10 of these in. Now, if you have small pieces of basil, again, compensate. If you have a small piece, then that looks like, whoops, let me see if I can do that. I'm trying not to kill him. If you have a small piece of basil, and it's calling for 10 pieces, all right, then you need two of these. So where was I? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, don't get mad, I'm sorry. Mwah. Thank you, 10. All right, so in here we have our celery, our carrots, our onion, our basil. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. So this isn't gonna really be too salted or anything. Again, this is gonna be just a really, really good base. From this, you're gonna do absolutely anything with. And then we have the garlic, and then you're gonna do seven tablespoons of olive oil. Guys, I have this thing with my friends that say they have olive oil, and then I check it, I open it up, and it smells rancid. Don't keep an open bottle of uh, olive oil around for too long. Oh my gosh, how many is that? We're just gonna pretend like that's seven. Seven, seven tablespoons. And the other thing is our tomatoes. Let me measure this out. So it's 500 grams of tomatoes, basically about a pound, just under a pound. These are already rinsed off. Let me put this guy on, tear it out. Hopefully you guys have a, a kitchen scale now. Three, so rinsed off, obviously get rid of the little stems. Probably could have done this before. So stories, I can't wait to show you eggplant parmesan and how it just wasn't a favorite of mine until now. And uh, once I learned how to dry it out. So that is really why, since we're gonna show you that and it has a few steps, I really wanted to show you the tomato sauce first. Plus this tomato sauce, you're gonna can it. I'm gonna show you how to can it. Really simple and you can keep it on the shelf for six months. So you could just grab it. You don't have to go to the store, you just grab it. Look at the, look at the color on that. It's so good. It's so, so good. And it honestly could be as a tomato juice, I mean a tomato uh, soup as well. Okay, so one more. Yep, all right, so 500 grams of tomatoes in there. And you're just gonna give that a quick toss. And you're going to, oh, 
You know what I forgot to do? Tear up the basil leaf. Why not chop? You're gonna get more flavor out of the basil leaf when you tear it as opposed to chopping it. It has such a great flavor. Spicy, kind of licorice sweet. Love basil. And again, it's gonna be all blended in here anyhow, but it's just gonna help kind of break down the flavor. So I'm gonna put a top on that, put it on the stove on very low heat for one hour. And let's see, I have this one. This one has been sitting on ooh, the stove for an hour. And I will show you what it looks like. And it's funny, it's actually gonna, it's gonna taste, it's gonna change flavors in a while with a little bit of the process. So let me see if I can do this. See that? It's super good. I'm trying not to spill, but is there a smell button on here? There really should be. Hmm. Okay. So from here, you are going to use your immersion blender, or you can use a regular blender if, if you're careful with that. It's hot, so just be careful that it doesn't explode. So your immersion blender, which is super easy because you can keep it on the stove and just kind of let it do its work. And you're just going to blend this up really quickly. I wonder if any of you guys grew up in a household where your mom made their own tomato sauce. I grew up in a household where it was a sin and definitely always has been for me to buy tomato sauce. It's just something you make. Um, in my household, we started with canned tomatoes. This is the first time I've used fresh, and man, it makes a huge, huge difference, besides the organic ingredients. But, you know, we were using canned tomatoes and dried spices, and this is night and day difference. So it's pretty easy. Oh. Really should wear an apron, right? Or a taller pan. Okay. So. Yum. yum, yum. Okay, so this is what it looked like now. Can you see it? Can you see it? Mmm. And we're going to put it back on the stove for another 30 minutes. Over low heat. And we're going to get, it's going to turn from like, a liquid consistency to a saucy, which is, let's see, I think what I have this one going on now, or I burned this one. This one looks like lava, because I didn't have it on low, I had it on two. You know what, I know what I'm going to do this one. Sorry guys, I hope this hasn't gone like a million million minutes, but I'm gonna just a little bit more. I get it exactly where I want it. Okay, so my point is it's now turned a really light orange. It's super pretty, and you're now going to go to canning. And when you can, yeah, these are these are clean, but they don't have to necessarily be hot because you're not putting it in hot water. I usually get one of these. Fill it all the way up to a quarter of the top. So your one recipe is going to make about 24 ounces, three cups or so. I have two recipes going here because you can always use this stuff. Yeah. All right, you stay there. And seal the top, turn it upside down, and leave it on the counter for 24 hours, and there you have it. Mama's tomato sauce and a little bit of mess on me.